This is a Friday Shoes production. This is Lesson 5-8, and our book's on page 286. It's our second day, and we're working on the examples uh, 3 and 4. I can calculate markups and discounts. When we see markups and discounts, we see them at stores. For instance, a store sells an item for more than it paid for that same item. The extra money is used to cover expenses and to make a profit. Obviously, they're in business to make money. Call that profit. So the increase in the price is called the markup. So they might buy it for a dollar. They mark it up to a dollar fifty. That means they're going to use that fifty cents to pay for expenses and anything left over we call profit. All right. The percent of markup is a percent of the increase. The amount, uh, the amount the customer pays is called the selling price. Let's talk about finding a selling price. Give it a markup. So our first one here, our first example says a bead store buys beads at wholesale prices and then prices them to sell at a 75% markup. If a strand of beads costs the store $9.14, that's what they bought uh, the, the beads for themselves. That's called the wholesale price. What is the selling price for the strand? Well, we have to add on 75% of that. Well, method one says find the amount of markup first. It says the whole, the whole is the $9.14. That's also the 100% cost to the uh, to the store. The percent is 75% that you want to add on. So you need to find the amount of the markup or the part. Let M represent the amount of the markup. So we use their trusty little uh, equation that they give us. M is going to equal 75% or 0.75 times the $9.14 wholesale price. That gives you 686. $6.86. That's the 75% you want to add on. So add up the markup of 686 to the store's cost of 914, and that's called the selling price. That's what you would see on the actual tag. $16. Now I like method number two better, but it's it's faster to add up uh, the percent before and, and instead of adding at the end with the dollar amount. So, Take a look here. It says find the total percents first. So you got to think a little bit differently here. We, as the customers, will pay 100% of the store's cost plus an extra 75% of the cost. So we play, pay that wholesale cost plus the 75% markup that they want to add on. So we end up paying 175% of the store's cost. So let P represent the price. And we take that part equally in the percent times the whole. And we have P being the price. Take a dollar, or excuse me, a 175%, change it to a decimal, so it's 1.75 times 9.14, which is the $9.14. When you do that on your calculator, you get $16 automatically. It tells you, you don't have to add at the end, it adds it all together. It takes that whole and adds on that part, the 75% that you want. So the selling price of the beads is $16, as we knew before. Why don't you give it a shot here on these three? Come on back, see how you do. So they have a digital camera here. It says find the selling price for each item given the percent of markup. In E, digital camera, it's $120, but they want to add on a 55% markup. So we have to figure out what 55% is. Well, first off, let's let's note that we're going to be paying, I'm going to do it the set the method number two up there, and we're going to add the percents together first. So we have 100% which means the $120, but we also have to find 55% and add that on. Well, the simple way to do it is take 155 and add it together. It's 155% is what we'll actually pay above what they bought it for. So now that we have 155%, we know that's what we're going to pay. We find 155% of $120. When we do that, 1.55 times 120, that equals 186. Therefore, the digital camera will have a price tag of $186 on it, and you can see there that's $66 worth of markup. All right, how about F? Sunglasses are $7. They want to mark it up 30%, so 100% plus the 30% is 130%. We, as the consumer, will pay 130%, actually, which is the amount, the wholesale amount, plus the 30% markup that they want to add in. So what we need to do is find 130% of the $7 wholesale price. 
and we take 1.3 and we multiply that by 7, we get 9.1, which is $9.10. So the sunglasses, to you, when we look at that little tag, we'll say $9.10. All right, how about G? Ching Yu ordered a book that cost $24 from an online store. The total, with the shipping charge, was $27. What was the percent of markup charge for shipping? Now, this is just a percent of change problem that you've done previously. So we need to find the original and the new price, or the ending price in this case, subtract those two, and then divide by the original. That means we have to take the 27 minus the 24, put that all over the 24 where it started from. So we have 3 and then over 24, which is the original. When you take those two, divide them, it's 0.125, Change it to a percent. We have a 12.5 percent markup for the uh, shipping charge. All right, let's talk about discounts. The amount by which a regular price is reduced is called the discount. We see these at stores. They 10 percent discount or take 30 percent off. Uh, the percent of change is a percent of decrease in this case. So let's take a look at our music producer here. It says, find the sale price on music. The CD Discount Superstore is advertising a 20% off sale. Jonas wants to buy a CD that originally cost $18.50. Find the sale price of the CD. So on the price tag, it says $18.50, but we get to take off 20% of that particular price because it's a 20% off sale. So what do we do? Well, method one says, find the amount of the discount first and then subtract it from the $18.50. So, if you look, it says the percent is 20% and the whole is 18.50. We need to find the amount of the discount or the part. Let D represent the amount of the discount. So they actually take D and they say that's equal to 20% of or times 18.50. When they multiply the 0.2 times 18.50, you get $3.70. Then we subtract the amount of the discount from the original price to find the sale price. So they took the 18.50, took off the $3.70. Your price, after the 20% discount, is $14.80. I like method number two because it gets those percents out of the way first, but you got to think differently. Notice what it says. If the amount of the discount is 20%, the percent paid is 100% minus 20%, which is 80%, meaning you as the consumer will actually only have to spend 80% of the amount of the price tag. That's easy to do. If it says 20% off, you take 20% off 100. If it says 30% off, you take 30% off 100. So in this case, it's 20%. So we need to find 80%, which we do have to pay, of 18.50. Let S represent the sale price. So we have S is equal to 80% times 18.50, and we get $14.80 right there. The sale price of the CD is 14.80, as we know from before. So you'll notice they're very similar. In this case, we're actually subtracting the percentages. On the previous ones, we were adding. Markups we add, and discounts we subtract. All right, you try these. Come on back, see how you do. All right, we have a CD here for $14.50, and they say take a 10% off uh, discount. That means find the sale price of each item to the nearest cent after the discount. Well, when we take the 10% off of the $14.50, notice 10%. When we take 10% off, that means we're pay we are paying 90%. We don't have to pay the extra 10%. They're saying take that off. So let's find 90% of 1450. When we take 90% of 1450, that means 0 0.9 times 1450. That's thirteen dollars and five cents. There you are. After a 10% discount, the CD will cost thirteen dollars and five cents, which is actually 90% of the wholesale price there. Now, we look at the sweater here. Originally, it cost $39.95. They're saying take a 25% off uh, discount. So, if we take 25% off, we have to pay 75%. Take 100% minus the 25%, get 75%. So, now let's find 75% of the $39.95 that we have to pay. So, we multiply 0.75 times 39.95 and we get 29.96. There it is. That's the price. After a 25% discount, the sweater will cost 
and five cents? I don't think so. I have that incorrect. It should be twenty nine ninety six. I didn't catch that when I was making the video. But you got to see that mistake corrected right in front of you. Don't forget you can review or rewatch this video, or you can read the examples in the book. And of course, there's also personal tutor videos online on the online textbook. And as usual, this has been a Friday Shoes production.